Everybody, how is it doing? How is it going? How is it hanging? Every all the all of those. How is all that stuff going for you? Um, my name is Robert. Welcome back to Guitar Control. I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm talking about six guitar chords that'll make you a star. No, but actually, yes, it could. Um, so basically, I did a video. I don't know if it's out yet or will be out. You can look for it. Uh, basically, it's talking about eight guitar chords. That I thought you should know, and I chose to pick six chords out of the G major scale, which G is an extremely common key on the guitar. So what I want to do is I'm going to basically transpose it. These lessons would work really well together if you're just getting into chords. Um, and this one is going to be simply using our A major scale, and we're going to use the six main chords. I, there, I know there's seven. We're not going to worry about the diminished, uh, diminished stuff quite right now, but um, we're just going to take these chords, and I think that they're really, really useful because... They just, they like how I hit the chair and I just like drop down. <laughs> chords are extremely useful in writing music, understanding chord progressions, all that kind of stuff. This will open up a lot of gateways for you, which could lead to you being a star. So let's go ahead and get going. Get those tabs down below and hit the subscribe button. All right, so chord numero uno. What do we got going on here? Like I said, well, we're gonna have to keep A major. So chord number one is of course, A major. Now, I do recommend this, learning your A majors in a bunch of different places on the net. But for now, we're just gonna do our open cowboy chord versions. So we have A major. Now this one is open A, two on the D, two on the G, and then two on the B. And of course, open high E. I can do it in key. So we have that going on. Now, where we could kind of go from there is the next chord in line. So that was an A, so our next one is going to be a B. <laughs> a B minor. So we have A. There we go, <laughs> I played it wrong first time. So how do you play B minor? B minor is kind of a tough one because it is a bar chord. So we have to hold down second fret from the A string all the way down to our high E. Now your ring finger is going to be going to 4th fret on the D, then you go to 4th fret on the G, and then you go with your middle finger to 3rd fret on the B. And of course, high string is 2nd fret because you're barring that one. Okay? So that's our next chord in line here. So what comes next? Well, after A, we have B. Good old common C sharp. <laughs> C sharp minor. So what's cool though is you can just take that B minor chord, Move it up two frets. You are now playing a C sharp minor. So we have. And you're probably wondering what, why these six chords, you know? It's not even so much about the exact chords we're playing, it's understanding the progression that these chords are going in. So we started with a root chord, went major, so that would be A. And then our next chord in line, next note in line was our B, which would be a minor, because it goes major, minor, minor. Major, major, minor, diminished. So we have these so far. So we have A, then B, C sharp minor. Now, next in line is going to be, what would be next? Oh, not that one. That is not next in line. D. So we have D major next. So that would be open on the D. Two on the G, three on the B, and then two on the high E. Good old D major. Okay. So we have those. Now next would be E, if I can hit the guitar right. E, so it's going to be E major so like i said it's major minor minor major major minor so we have e major so we have a b minor oh hold on that's that was a major seven b minor c sharp minor d major e major now e major is open on the low e second fret on the a second fret on the d and first fret on the g all by two opens 
good old E major. I'm going to give you a progression here at the end to practice. So we have that. Now the next one in line for these chords, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. What is next? Well, the next one is going to be a minor chord. It's going to be an F sharp minor. So F sharp minor is a little bit tricky because it's a big bar chord. It's across all six strings. So you have to take your pointer finger and cover second fret from the low E string down to the high E. Your ring finger is going to go to fourth fret on the A, and your pinky is going to go fourth fret on the D. And you have to pull down all of those and strum it. It's a kind of a tough one. It's not the easiest chord in the world. So we have A major, B minor, C sharp minor, D major, E major, and F sharp minor. Now, like I said before, these are so important because of what's happening to the notes. If you just take this pattern and move it around, you can take this uh, concept and be like, okay, well, like I did in the other video, yeah, I want the key of G. Well, that would be G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor. So if you ever wonder how someone can come up with a chord progression on the, on the fly, just come up with a riff that sounds great, it's because they know their chord progressions and they know that maybe how the either just by years of playing they know them or they could be you know someone who just knows the way that a scale works so if I was to play a riff I could just go like um, I know how to go to these chords. I threw in a couple extra ones, uh, like the G sharp, but I could have just went to the C sharp minor there. Um, and it's because I know these chord progressions. So the little chord progression that I was doing there was a very simple one overall. It was just simply going A major, which is our one, D major, which is our four, and then E major, which is our five. Oh, a one, four, five most common chord progression. That's why these six chords are so important. That's why you'll learn so much by learning them and transposing them all over the place. And that is today's lesson, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. If you would, grab those tabs over on the website, hit the subscribe button. It's probably popping up over here. Got two other videos to pick from. And I think we're gonna bounce on out of here. Happy playing. Hope you enjoy these chords because guitar is the coolest instrument in the world. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye, guys.